you have uh, two choices when converting a Microsoft PowerPoint into a PDF file. Uh, your first choice is uh, to do the traditional method of printing. And if you click print and then uh, for your printer find and select Adobe PDF make sure you click on properties. Uh, typically it'll print as a PDF in the typical slide file size or at an 8.5 by 11. So click properties and then what you have to do is select your page size. And if you don't see your specific page size, uh, you can always create a custom page size. Okay, so that's one method. I'm going to cancel out of that. The other method is to uh, go to Save As and then Save As an Adobe PDF. This is a little more effective uh, method. I'm just going to save this file. Okay, uh, what you want to do before you save it as an Adobe PDF, click on Options, and then you can see all the different options that you have to work with. Uh, you can um, convert document information, so that should save uh, transitions and links that you've created in the PowerPoint. Um, anyway, so you can choose the, uh, the different features that you want to select. Uh, then you click OK. With this option, you do not have to select a page size. It will print to the appropriate page size automatically. Just click. All right. And then here is the PDF file in that same page size. So see, we didn't actually have to adjust the page size. All right. Hopefully this helps uh, get your PowerPoint presentations into a PDF format.